Jesus Christ said, I am come not, not to take away the law. You know, I am come to fulfill the law. And Jesus Christ, the Bible said, Jesus Christ was tempted in every point as we are, and yet without sin. He was the only person who obeyed the Ten Commandments. He was the only person who was able to fulfill the law. And listen to me. He fulfilled the law for you. Amen. Glory to God. Now that you are in Christ Jesus, in Christ Jesus, it is as if you have fulfilled the whole Ten Commandments. Come on. Because what we cannot do, He did for us. Now everything that Jesus Christ did, He did not, did, he did not do for Himself. You know, as the Son of God, hindi na po na kinakailangan magkatawang tao para patunayan lamang na, you know, He, he, he is, he is a, you know, He is a better than the devil. Of course not. Everything that Jesus Christ did, He did for you and He did for me. Amen? He fulfilled the law. The law that we cannot fulfill, He fulfilled the law for us. Are you still here? Glory to God. Now let's, let's go on. Okay, let's go on. <clears throat> so, by the faith of the Son of God, you know, Paul said again, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. And then verse 21, I do not prostrate, I do not, you know, I do not set aside the grace of God. For if, by, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. So we don't set aside the grace of God. So as I said, every time, we are operating by the works of the law. We are setting aside the grace of God. We, 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 we fell from grace. Yung po ibig sabihin ng, ng, ng falling from the grace of God. Amen? By operating the works of the law. Okay? By operating the works of the law. Now, 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 now let's go on. In chapter 1, uh, chapter, chapter 3, verse 1. <clears throat> All foolish Galatians. Now, now listen to this. Again, let, let's go back to verse 21. I do not set aside the grace of God. For if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Now verse 21. You can use this verse and apply it to the other areas of your life. Malimas of righteousness. I do not prostrate, I do not set aside the grace of God. For if prosperity come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. I do not set aside the grace of God. For if healing come by the law, then Christ died for nothing. I do not set aside the grace of God. Amen. For if success come by the law, then Christ died for nothing. Are you still here? I do not set aside the grace of God. Now listen to me. You know, the only way for us not to set aside the grace of God is by operating in faith. By living by the faith of the Son of God. So Paul said, The life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. And by doing so, I do not set aside the grace of God. By living the life of faith, I do not set aside the grace of God. It is the faith of Jesus Christ that connects us to the grace of God. Amen? To the grace of God. And the grace of God is based on the finished work of Jesus Christ on Calvary. In my Christian life, hindi ko nais na mawala ng kabuluhan yung ginawa ni Cristo sa krus ng Calvary. Come on! Chapter 3, verse 1. All foolish Galatians. The word foolish simply means you are void of understanding. All foolish Galatians, who had bewitched you that you should not obey the truth before whose eyes Jesus has been evidently set forth, crucified among you. This only would I learn of you. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. How did you receive the Holy Spirit? By the works of the law 
or by the hearing of faith? Of course, by the hearing of faith. Amen? Amen. Okay, are you, are you so foolish having begun in the spirit? Are you now made perfect by the flesh? Have you suffered so many things in vain? If it be yet in vain, he therefore that ministered to you in the spirit and worketh miracle among you, do it he by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Do it he by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Notice here, both the receiving. Okay, now notice in verse, verse 2, this only would I learn of receive. Sabi mo receive. We either receive by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Amen? Now, when it comes to verse 5, do it he it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Our receiving and our doing should be based on the hearing of faith. We receive by the hearing of faith. We do things by the hearing of faith. And the hearing of faith is the hearing of the word. We receive by the hearing of the word. We do by the hearing of the word. Amen. Our receiving and our acting is by the hearing of faith. By the hearing of the word. Hallelujah. Okay now. So, he said here, Are you so foolish having begun in the spirit? Are you now made perfect by the flesh? By the flesh. Now listen to me. Now based on the context of this scripture, the word flesh here has nothing to do with sin. Amen? Many times, you know, we, we can only associate flesh with sin. You know, of course, the works of the flesh is, you know, is outlined in Galatians chapter 5, verse 19, you know, adultery, fornication. Those are the works of the flesh. Those are, that, that, that was the evil side of the flesh. Don't you know that there are two sides to the flesh? The evil side and the good side. Amen? Don't you know that the flesh is capable of doing good things? Don't you know that the flesh is capable of doing good works? Amen? That's why, you know, religion will tell you, you have to do good works in order for you to be saved. In other words, if the flesh does not have the ability to do good works, then how can you do good works in order for you to be saved, according to religion? Amen? So in other words, before salvation, before you got born again, your flesh already had the ability to do good works. And that ability to do good works you know, remain after you got born again. Amen? So, after we got saved, you know, we need to do good works. But our good works should not be based on the ability of the flesh. It should be the grace of God in us doing the good works. Not this flesh. Amen? Because every good work... However good that good work may be, every good work that, that you do by the ability of your flesh and not by the grace of God in you, those good works that you do. Ang sabi sa Bible, lahat ng yun, pagharap natin sa judgment set of Christ in heaven, lahat ng yun masusunog, you will never receive any one. Amen? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Remember these words from the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 8? The word is near you, even in your mouth and your heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. Glory. Tune in again next Saturday, same time, same channel, for another dynamic teaching that can change your life through the word of faith. Jesus Faith Christian Fellowship is located at 2nd Floor, Uniwide Metro Mall, Las Piñas City. For more information, call 872-4617 or 872-4618. Our Sunday schedule of services are the following. 7.30 to 9.30 in the morning, 10 o'clock to 12 noon, and also 4.30 to 6.30 in the afternoon, and 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock in the evening. Nursery, toddlers, and children's church are also provided. So come and join us.